What's going on world? It's your man Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. Y'all, I'm, I'm back in the expedition. I'm back in my old, ugly, dusty, trusty Ford Expedition. I can't believe I'm personally saying this. I am more of a Honda Toyota guy, and when it comes to trucks, I'm really more of a Chevy guy. Uh, but God damn it, I can't. Because, because the Escalade is still not up yet, because I still have yet to find a reasonably priced, low mileage or a low enough mileage transmission, I'm back in my old slider, and it's doing me pretty good. I have to admit, I damn that Ford. But either way, this video is not about that. Uh, I'm working on uh, one of my buddies, 2004 Chrysler Sebrans, and I've never actually seen this. Uh oh, I've never actually seen this happen. Let me lock. How do I lock? Oh, there it is. I'm using my, my tripod. I actually got my tripod today. Uh, look at this. Let me get closer. Look, the ball joint actually separated completely uh, out of the upper control arm. So, um, yeah, that's what we're working on today. And we're going to get into it right after the intro. All right, so uh, first thing I did, actually, I just want to grab a crescent wrench and um, let's see, try to, this is going to be a little tough. I ain't going to lie. Well, look, look at it like this. The control arm is here. The upper control arm is here. I have to reach up here, so I'm really not, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the camera there, but I'm using a crescent wrench. I'm just breaking that bolt loose. Now, there's a bolt that runs clear across the frame to the other side which is back in there like i say um it's gonna be kind of hard to do this but this video actually oh no it's not gonna work <laughs> i was thinking i could put it oh hold on hold on i think i gotta speak aha uh -huh. hopefully it don't fall because i don't broke too many of these camera lenses it's not a really good feeling but they're not that cheap uh this video is not actually about me fixing this car uh the video is about uh customer service man um ah. sorry i got dust kicking my butt over here but uh customer service is the business and i've been preaching this for the longest time in this video i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna post this i don't even know if you can see what i'm doing but i don't know if i'm gonna post this soon or later but it's just real quick too when you when you're jacking up a vehicle make sure you use a jack stand people the last thing you need to do is be out here and die because you was trying to work on a car and um did not decide to put on the simplest thing called a jack stand and i use them heavy duty harbor freight joints and uh they work and i actually had to take this off because my jack the car is low, my jack is low, and even though I got it jacked up, uh, still not, you know, whatever. But either way, the wheel was like bent in, um, which is a typical thing, but customer service. Customer service. So I told, I told my homie, I'm like, listen, man, uh, I'll come out there and fix it for you because if I have to charge you for a tow, that's gonna be a whole nother thing. So I'd rather just come out there and fix it on the spot. Now, why I say I didn't know where, when I was gonna post this video because it was actually, uh, apparently, that girl that uh, was on the Dr. Phil, that, that the Cash Me Outside girl, just turned 18, and, and people going crazy. I don't know what happened exactly, but she apparently was at some event, and people were like waiting for her at this event. To, I don't know why, but she cashed in at like a million dollars on the spot from donations and all that stuff. If, if I'm hearing the story correctly, I'm not really sure. I don't keep up with that type of stuff. But I was blown away. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, man. <laughs> Why we keep, so I'm in, I'm in the parts store this morning and uh, me and the guy are listening to the radio because I just happened to hear it on the radio. And um, he had the radio, it was in advance and y'all know, and, and that's me going against O'Reilly's. I am going back to O'Reilly's because I think I got the wrong part. But um, they're laughing about it. And then he's, oh, you know, we forgot about that, blah, blah, blah. It's an older gentleman, too, older gentleman. And he laughing about it. And I'm like, no, dog, like, stop laughing about that. Like, stop laughing about that. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, bro. He's like, man, I know it's ignorant. I'm like, no, but well, see, that's the problem. If you know it's ignorant and you still laughing about it, you are the problem. <laughs> you are the reason why this girl can come out here and be ratchet 
America seen a love ratchet and hate it all at the same time. But I'm like, you come out here and talk about how the girl is ratchet and you know X, Y, and Z, but then you at the same exact time you turn around and you laugh at the content, which means that you are advertently uh accepting her behavior, which means that you're also um bringing her up or vibrating her frequency to continue to do it because she getting paid for it the crazy thing is man america love it america love ratchet america love ghetto and um hate it at the same time it's, it's a little disturbing man um but you know hey it is what it is i'm not mad at the girl i'm, I'm more disappointed in america america allows this to happen on a continuous basis but then gets mad when 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 the, the, the kids or the next generation start coming out and doing ratchet stuff but that's what y'all want <laughs> you support the ratchetness it's, it's it's heartbreaking man it's heartbreaking and a little confusing um all at the same time I, like i say i'm not hating on it but i mean no no I'll take that back i am hating on it yeah i hate to be honest with you i don't know why we keep as a people supporting this stuff and then get mad when people come out here and be ratchet and be ghetto you know what i'm saying but this is why i'm making this video because it's about customer service if that is what the people want damn it who am i to tell the people that they can't have their ghetto and their ratchetness you know what i'm saying um i'm gonna email master p i was in atl not too long ago been waiting to get a pack of these wrap snacks right i get these wrap snacks they ain't gonna lie they were freaking delicious but then i look at the ingredients after i'm done and i think i talked about this in another video and um, they were genetically modified. The whole thing is genetically modified. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, he capitalizing, he capitalizing on, I, and I get his point, it, but he capitalizing on the actual destruction of the health of his very own people. But I can't be mad at him because it's like, us as the people, we, we, we not only, crave it we demand that you give it to us the very thing that's killing us we crave it and i just man i'm blown away i'm blown away and i don't understand like i talk about uh i got that video where uh uh my whole uh what you call the video man the um the big rim video that i talk about a lot because it's my highest view video and i got more people on there saying that i'm hating when i'm Still trying to clearly articulate no dude I'm not hating and, and then I have people be like oh it's the culture but this is what I realized the culture is poisoned the culture is poisoned and people love it <laughs> they don't know they don't just love it they demand you poison them they demand that you kill them they they won't they will fight you tooth and nail and make you give them the very thing that's destroying them and I thought about it in my own life, you know? And I know my people meant well, but I'm like the three major things, that's like the first things that come to my mind when I thought about my, my culture and my people and my uh, the, and the poisoning within it is one of my favorite snacks uh, growing up, or well, not my favorite snacks, one of my favorite drinks, right? Kool-Aid, what's Kool-Aid? Artificially red dyed water with what? A whole lot of sugar, that's all that it is. And listen, my grandma used to make the best Kool-Aid, bro. Like, it used to be on point so good. And uh, <laughs> the reason why is because she would put like three times the amount of sugar in the Kool-Aid. It was so sweet. And then my people wonder why I be geeked up all day long because I'm high off of Azuka. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole culture, though. That's the whole culture. Fried chicken. Uh, the best thing I can say is in my culture, on a stereotypical tip, but it is true, it's, the best thing is watermelon. It's actually good for you. I mean, it's, it's, it's like 90 something percent water, um, which we actually need, and it's got uh, fructose, which is the natural form of sugar. Um, but customer service, man, it's all about customer service. So what I'm ultimately getting at in this video is that as upsetting as it makes me to uh, see these type of people win, um, we as a people, we demand it. So you can't, I can't tell the people that they're wrong. If that's what you want, if that's what you like, then that's what you deserve to get. And who am I to tell you not to? So if you're profiting on the destruction of our people, what can I say? That's what they asking for, uh, as sad as it is. So now talk about the big rims. 
cool hey i'm with you but is anybody in our culture actually making these rims is anybody actually manufacturing these rims are these public companies that i can like invest my my hard on usd dollars in or is it all private owned entities that we as a people actually make popular and then they turn around and still make money off of us because our leaders in our culture make us think that it's cool to follow them that might not even pay them to poison us. But it's customer service. It's customer service. How dare I tell people that what they invest in is stupid? How dare I tell people that the things that they like is actually killing them? How dare I try to take our people out of poverty? How dare I try to take my people and elevate them to another level? How dare me? Do you hear how that sounds? That's, 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 that's the flake that I get because I'm trying to elevate my people to another consciousness, another level uh, of, of evolution to kind of get back to the gods and the kings and queens that we were on this earth. And I'm a bad guy for this. But then I'm telling you at the same time, it's customer service. The people are only gonna feed you what you gonna eat. And if you telling them this is what it is. If I open up a hot dog stand right now, or let's say, a, let's say a barbecue joint, I open up this barbecue joint right now, and then right next to it, I put our company, my wife and our company, is vegan goodness. And nobody comes to it's vegan goodness, I have to listen to what the people want. So if everybody going to the barbecue place and nobody's coming to the vegan place, I gotta eat too. But now I gotta eat on giving you pork and chicken and things that's gonna clog your arteries and it's all in the name of survival. Hey, it's, it's sad, man. But listen, customer service is the business. I'm trying to elevate a whole culture. Uh, and this is, the, you know, I'm, kind of, I'm not a one man job doing it. Uh, you, got, you got Young Pharaoh, thank you brother for doing it. You got Dane Calloway for waking people up. Thank you brother for doing it. You got Papa Duck down here in Florida. Thank you brother for doing it. And these people gotta make money too. And I'm not just shouting them out just to be shouting them out because everybody got their flaws. All I'm saying is, uh, and matter of fact, your, your boy uh, Ralph Smart, cause he making money too, elevating the whole society. You know what I'm saying? I'm focusing on the world as well, but I'm putting a lot of emphasis on my people because for some reason, you know, when I go to YouTube and I look up these videos to do certain things, I never see my people. And I'm not, I'm glad that at least somebody's doing it, but I really would like our people to like get back into this type of stuff. Why can't I find a positive influence inside of our culture that's just trying to also raise the vibration and frequency and economic status of our culture? I don't understand why people don't get this. We have, we rather have candy paint and big rims and motors and throw all our money back into the system in which doesn't pay us that actually suppresses us and it's all in the name of customer service because you ask for it you don't only ask for it you beg for it and you will be damned if you don't get the very poison that you paying for but that's customer service but i'm gonna get to my customer car uh and i just want to put that out there man because i'm just i'm so upset i'm very very distraught about it and um that's it. So you're pulling up now. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Till next time, mi gente. Be pro mundo beneficio. Siempre. Y